open Inkscape, go to document properties, change the document to your preferred size, change the page color to white, or to your preferred background color of your slide. Create a rectangle, hold Ctrl and Shift to create a perfect rectangle. Give it a black color. Turn on snapping. Lock this and give it a 60 pixel. Now we have a 60 by 60 square. What I'm going to do is to create a padding around the page. So for that we have to use the guides. Ctrl D to duplicate this and place it here. Ctrl D, place it here. Ctrl D, place it here. Now we can drag the guides and place it here. So we have a reference to draw our objects and shapes. Now select all these rectangles by holding shift and press delete on your keyboard. Now draw a rectangle and give it a border radius and a color. Go to fill and stroke menu. Make sure the opacity is 100 and we'll give it a pastel color. Select the text object and type something and go to text and font. I will give this font the fig tree font. You can choose your own. Turn off stamping for a while. Hold Ctrl while dragging to lock proportions while you resize. Ctrl D to duplicate and give it a normal font and a smaller font size and type something. Make sure you have a text length around this size. Now paste some text. Go to unsplash.com and find strawberries and I'll copy the image. Paste it here on Inkscape. Now let's resize this and change the opacity just to see it better. Now send it backwards. Let's duplicate this rectangle by pressing Ctrl D. Hold Shift and select the strawberry image. Right click and set clip. Now if we take this off you can see strawberry image is clipped. I will press Alt and click so it will be the image will be selected. Reduce the opacity of the square and now select the strawberry. Press Alt and select click again. Now the strawberry is selected. Let's make this back to 100%. Now let's reduce the opacity of the square. Or maybe we can give a gradient. Go to the linear gradient option. Now press G to get the gradient tool. Let the opacity be 100%. You can change the color to a more vibrant one. Duplicate the text by pressing Ctrl D and place it around here. Then give it a white color. Ctrl D. Hold Ctrl and resize. Double click and change the size. Now select and give it a white color. Type something. Now you can hide the rulers. You can see this is a basic slide. Now select the rectangle, duplicate it, give it a fill and make it black. Now send it backwards and increase the blur. Now you can see a shadow popping up. Now just resize it so you can see the shadow is casting from above and decrease the opacity. Let's make the shadow reddish. Let's create another page. Select the page tool and create another page. Now we have the same exact size.
Let's create a rectangle again for reference. Place it here and control D and place it here. Now we can set the guides again. We can repurpose this. Select all and control D to duplicate. Place it here. Let's find something yellowish. Place the image here. Now we have to what we have to do is export this. Press Ctrl Shift E. Now you can export this page. You can see page one, page two, and page three. We can export all of them to a PDF format.